What is going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. So today I want to show you guys the new features of TalkBack and Android P. Uh, right now it's in its first beta stage. It's in uh, developer preview 2 and um, it's in beta 1 with publicly available. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you the new game game changing feature here. So the new game changing feature is TalkBack now can be silenced in a myth of a second like with no delay so how do you do this well before with talkback you had to lock your phone or try to tap with two fingers and find a way to make it be quiet now all i do i'm gonna go to my app suture so i can make it start talking no reason chase in grid and all i did was cover the light sensor clock that search Pick. search hello in home screen one of two so all I do is cover it, and that's the first feature. Oh. Now, the next thing I want to go ahead and show you is TalkBack is now compatible with the new Android gestures. So basically, uh, it's it's a new it's a new uh, gesture that's inside of developer settings, where it's inside of gesture settings. I'm sorry, where basically uh, you swipe no recent item swipe up for the app switcher, and then apps list swipe all Search. the way. For your, tap to activate double. for your app switcher. So as you see, I silenced the talkback by covering the ambient light sensor. And th those are really cool gestures because there's no more having to just double tap on back. I mean, double tap on app switcher, double tap on home. So home is normal oh, home. Pixel launcher. But then if you want to go into your app switcher no a little bit, items. keep going. Apps list. So it, it makes things a, a little bit more unified and cleaner then having to press the app switcher button and then home. So basically it kind of combines the app switcher button and the home button in a nice way. Home, pixel launcher, home screen one of two. Now, home, pixel launcher. the next thing that's compatible with TalkBack that is really cool. Chrome. Actions. So I'm gonna open up Chrome. Home, project by 20, Chrome. Home, Chrome, messages, camera. Add I'm gonna camera. open up. Timer up, home. Those two things. Camera. Pixel launcher. And now I'm gonna with the home button selected. Gmail. Show navigation drawer button. Play store. Home for you selected. Play store. Home button. Home screen one of two. Pixel launcher. Gmail camera. Chrome. Action can Gmail. So basically Action. Google Play navigate up button. Place You can navigate up button. Okay. So basically you can uh navigate between apps by like multitasking using two fingers while the home button is selected and it'll basically tell you what's open and you can uh, quickly switch between the apps and that's awesome oh. Friday May 11 pixel launcher so the next feature that I found pretty cool that uh, actually is seem to be more unified with talkback so I'm gonna go into the talkback settings and um, we're gonna swift through the new settings, so let's do this. Here, 10, 10, 17 a.m. Hotspot, quick set, notification shade, right, battery, phone, 50, on, on, off, off, on, off, battery, save, on, off, off, page one, selected, find network, edit order of open setting, search set, display, wall, sound, storage, secure, accounts, Google, accessibility, screen, navigate up button. So, one thing you can already tell, which I haven't mentioned yet, is there's new sound effects for everything. So there's a lot more pops and little, little um, nice animated noises and some vibration feedback as well. And I think that's awesome because if you're hard of hearing and you don't know if TalkBack did anything, then you know it did something because it vibrated. Um, nice little feature. Button. Okay. Back. So the back button still works the same way. Volume keep this font size large display text is talk back on speak item navigate up when talk back is on it provides spoken feedback so that so barely covering the ambient light sensor shuts it up. Let's go dig deeper into the settings. Settings on setting settings bird speech in list 20 text to speech settings verbosity Use proximity shake to start. Use proximity sensor. Proximity sensor silences speech on switch. Okay, so that Double was the feature 
that uh, that I've been showing you, it's hidden in there, and that's where you enable it. And the settings of TalkBack, it's this used proximity sensor, really cool. I haven't seen it there before, and I'm glad it's there. Shake to start continuous reading disabled. So double tap to you activate. Can... Alert shake to start very hard. Cancel, but very hard in list. Shake to start continuous read. So basically, now you have more like uh, intuitive gestures so that you can in, 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 like uh, interface with TalkBack, which is awesome. Let's keep going. Fist switch auto paste on paste assistance functionality. Okay. Double tap to act. This is the other thing I wanted to talk about. So uh, Google basically revamped some of the copy and paste features. So you know, pasting with TalkBack is is a pain sometimes, and even with VoiceOver too. Like you have to like double tap and hold, and then finally you get the little paste thing. Basically, the apps that actually implement it so far, I only have one app. Downloaded services. Uh, I only have one app that takes advantage of this called Five Switch because I have Project Five as my carrier. Um, basically, when you have TalkBack on or off, but it's good with TalkBack because the apps that support it that you have to copy and paste. Basically, when you go into a supported app, it'll automatically do the copying and pasting for you according to what you want, and that's pretty cool that it's implemented there. Home button out of lip. Friday, May 11th. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is. Uh, in Android P, the volume gesture, the volume sliders were put to the side. Ring. So, Tap to set to vibrate. Music so, volume set to 65%. So the way TalkBack interacts with the volume is kind of different now because it is, you know, it's not so uh, just on or off. So listen to this. Ring. Tap to set to vibrate. Music volume set to 70%. Ring. Tap to set to vibrate. Taps list button. Dropbox, May 10th. We noticed a new 76% ring. Tap to set to vibrate button. So now you Double have that Dropbox, option. Dropbox, May 10th. We Gmail out of list. Okay, so basically the, the vibration and all that is handled differently in Android P. So talk back and now interface with us. So. Ring. Tap to Music Come volume on. set to 80%. Ring. Compose button out of Tech IO 7. Ring. Tap to set to vibrate button out of list. So now you get that option to set it to vibrate. You basically t double tap on uh, to set it to vibrate. You no longer hold the down volume key to put it in vibrate, which kind of annoys me because with TalkBack, you have to basically, instead of bringing it all the way down, you have to do this. Gmail out of ring. Tap to set navigate G. And it doesn't even work right right now, which is kind of tedious. Let's try it again. Ring. Tap to set to vibrate. Calls and notifications will vibrate. And there we go. And that is kind of annoying versus just putting your volume down. I think there should be a way to switch between these uh, functionality and settings. I don't like the fact that it's just this way and that's it. But let's re-enable the vibration. Ring. Tap to set to vibrate button. Music. There are big Gmail. I'm in Gmail now. Back button. And this is annoying. Oh. Gmail. Pixel launcher. Ring. Tap to set calls and notifications will be muted. Ring. Tap to unmute. See, I don't like that. It's so... I, I, it just not... Ring. Not... Tech guy 07. Ring. Tap to unmute button. Out of... There. And then I Gmail. tap on the wrong thing. Like, Tech it's just not right. Tech guy 07. 11. 96%. Ring. Tap to unmute. Calls and notifications will ring. 100%. Ring. See, tap to set to all that just to go through silence and unsilence, and it used to just be a simple volume button. Why, Google? Why don't you give us an option? But um, those are like the major things that change with TalkBack and, you know, the UI as well. But um, for the most part, the things that do change, and I like the home gesture home. thing. Gmail. Start new conversation. Messages. Settings. Pixel launcher, I like the, navigate up button. the whole navigation uh, thing, how it works. It's, it's intuitive. Navigate up button. Home. Home screen. 82 degrees. Home button. Settings. App search. Pixel launcher. It, it's, it's very, I mean, it takes a minute to get used to, but it's nice. Um, I already did a video on Google Lens. You guys are killing it. You know, it's got some of these views, and I appreciate that. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, this is the first review of 
talk back on Android P. Screen off. Black screen. And some of the accessibility features. You know, we still have more betas to come. This is only the first beta. I'm gonna play, of course, I still use TalkBack for everything, uh, accessibility and stuff. So when I get the chance uh, on a new beta that I see that there's a major difference, I will do another video if there's a difference, but uh, I'll keep pushing Google I.O. videos, uh, you know, that I find useful because there's a lot of stuff announced at Google I.O. that I still have to cover. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment, rate, subscribe, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.